good morning today is sunday september 15th 2024 and it is day number 981 in my fasting journey and day number 624 in my exercise journey so these days i get on the scale once a month and i actually had a weigh-in last week so i am not due for another weigh-in until sometime next month so in terms of my meals, in the mornings, I drink a cup of heavy cream. The reason why is to stall my weight. And when I drink heavy cream in the morning, I feel like a sense of peace in my mind. And I get like this small boost in energy. And it is also so incredibly filling. Like so much so that when it's dinner time, I'm not really hungry. And this is definitely in contrast to earlier in the year when I was not consuming the heavy cream. And when dinner time would roll around, I would always feel like so starving. And so um, anyways, I am really, you know, glad that I added the heavy cream to my regimen. I'm loving it. Um, it tastes good to me. It tastes sweet. It kind of like tastes like ice cream and I don't do anything to it. Um, maybe every now and again, I'll put some vanilla extract in it, but I really don't do that all that often. And so I um, am looking forward to sticking with this for a little while and kind of like seeing how it plays out. So in the evenings, I have a meal. And when I do have a meal, I try to eat as clean and as low carb as I possibly can. And what I'm having this evening is shrimp and bacon and onions and green peppers. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to season my shrimp with salt and I'm going to saute it in Better Butter Brands Garlic Parmesan Basil Butter. This butter is so good. It is so filled with flavor that I don't really need to um, add any additional seasonings when cooking with it. And so I will also cook my bacon and the butter and then I'm going to chop up an onion and chop up a green pepper and saute that in the butter as well. And that's my meal for today. Um, so um, a little while ago, someone asked me a question. They wanted to know like how much meat do I cook um, when I'm making a meal for myself? And it's usually a pound and I don't always eat a pound of meat, um, especially these days since I've started, um, you know, drinking the heavy cream. I'm not really all that hungry, but I do make a pound of, um, you know, meat so that it's there for me if I want it. And so anyways. In terms of my exercise journey, so my New Year's resolution is to walk 20,000 steps every single day this year, and every single day I have hit that goal. And last week, I um, reached a milestone in my journey. I got to the 254-day mark, and you may wonder what is so special about 254 days. Well, several years ago, I read that it takes 18 to 254 days to create a new habit. And so when I got to the 254 day mark um, in my step journey, I um, kind of like, you know, um, thought to myself, is this a habit? And I definitely think it's a habit for me right now. And to be perfectly honest, I think this became a habit long before the 254 day mark. And so I think it is absolutely amazing that in as little as 18 to 200 254 days that we can create a new habit and you may be thinking that 254 days is a really long time but it's not actually um, when you think about how long you may have engaged in the old um, habit and so for me my old habit was living a sedentary life and I've been sedentary basically for most of my life and if I had to like do, um, I did the math and it was probably over 16,000 days that I engaged in a sedentary lifestyle. And so the fact that I can create a, um, you know, new habit, um, especially um, when I engaged in the old one for like 16,000 days and, and that I can, you know, change that in 254 days. Um, that's amazing to me and that really is no time at all when you think about it. And so anyways, if you're wanting to create a new habit, just be patient. Think about, you know, how long it took you to, um, you know, um, get to the old habit, how long it took you to kind of like perfect the old habit. So it's going to take some time to kind of like undo that. And so just be patient and just be consistent and, you know, persist. And one of these days that old habit is going to to um, no longer be dominant in your brain and the new habit will be dominant. And when that new habit is dominant in your brain, it will be like so easy for you to engage in that new behavior. And so 
I am so like confident that getting steps in is now officially a habit that at the end of this year, after I've completed my um, 2024 step challenge, I'm not going to track my steps any longer. And the only reason why I'm not going to do this is because I'm not an accessory person. I don't really wear um, accessories and I, um, you know, don't really like wearing a watch. And so at the end of the year, I'm going to stop wearing the watch and just kind of like trust myself to get my steps in every day. So um, anyways, that's kind of what's happening in my um, exercise journey. Oh, I guess another thing that I should mention is that, um, you know, this month I am doing a weight challenge where I am carrying one pound weights for, you know, 10 minutes a day to get my steps in, while, you know, getting my steps in. And last week I mentioned that I was thinking about, you know, um, working my way up to being able to carry the weights for all of my steps. And um, I really just don't want to do that. I don't have any desire to do that. And so um, I read that I don't really need to do that, that, you know, five to 20 um, minutes of, um, you know, carrying the weights on a regular, um, you know, basis is enough to, you know, see results. And so I think I'm going to max out at carrying the weights, um, you know, 20 minutes. And so um, anyways, so that's what's happening in my exercise journey. So today is before and after picture Sunday. I have posted my before and after picture in the thumbnail for today's video. And what I want to mention is that, and I actually mentioned this in the video short that I posted yesterday evening, that I went to my favorite restaurant for dinner yesterday and I stuffed myself silly. I made an absolute pig out of myself. And so when I woke up this morning, I still like felt stuffed and I think it kind of like shows in my picture for this morning. And I kind of like, um, you know, was feeling a little bit sad um, because I used to do this to myself on a regular basis, just kind of like stuff myself silly. And I would do this like several times a day. And it's no wonder that I didn't feel like amazing, like physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. It is um, no wonder that I struggled with my weight. And so, um, you know, it made me sad because I can't believe that I would do this to myself. And I would did this to myself on a regular and consistent basis for years. And, um, you know, I am so thankful for this journey because it's helped me to undo a lot of bad behaviors that, um, you know, just basically were no longer serving me. And so I, um, it just feels good to, you know, let go of a lot of, you know, bad behaviors. And when I kind of like, um, you know, engage in, you know, a behavior from the past, um, you know, after a while of not engaging in it, I definitely, you know, see kind of like what it, um, you know, I was doing to myself. And so, um, anyways, so what I wanted to talk about in today's video is kind of like my experience with weights, my experience with kind of like strength training. And I don't have a lot of experience with this, but I have enough that maybe it will um, encourage you to think about incorporating um, weights or some kind of like strength training into your um, regimen, into your um, journey. And so um, anyways, so several years ago, um, I remember I was doing a 21 day juice fast and I'd done many 21 juice fasts, um, you know, before. And basically what I noticed is that, you know, I would lose maybe about 10 pounds and then I would plateau and wouldn't lose any more weight on the juice fast, probably because of all that sugar that I was consuming. And so like, I will never do another juice fast again. But anyways, um, several years ago, I was doing a 21 day juice fast and I had discovered Travis Elliott's yoga and so um I bought this like um his DVD called Yoga Foundations and I was doing yoga while on that juice fast and um in particular the first workout on that DVD there were three and what I noticed is on that 21 day juice fast I consistently lost every single day, at least a pound or maybe a little over a pound every single day. And I had never been able to do that before on a juice fast. And so that definitely, you know, piqued my curiosity. And you may not consider, you know, yoga to, um, you know, be kind of like a strength training workout, but I do because you are using your weight to kind of like hold yourself up in, you know, certain poses. And so, um, 
Anyways, not only did I consistently lose on that juice fast, well, I um, did like yoga for like 90 days straight. And so after that juice fast ended, um, I was able to maintain that weight. I didn't gain any weight after that juice fast. And that's kind of like, that was unheard of as well because I would always gain a little bit of the weight back. And so for as long as I did yoga, I never gained any of that weight back. But then as soon as I stopped doing yoga, that weight came back. But anyways, not only that, but you know, um, I like felt like this nice sense of peace, this nice sense of calm. I felt like content and I, um, guess it showed because like, I'm serious about this, like complete strangers, maybe like two or three times, um, I would have a like complete stranger come up to me and tell me that like I have I'm giving off like this air of like peace and like um you know positive energy and so um I you know don't even know what it was about me that was making you know people want to ask me what I was up to but I would tell them you know I was you know doing yoga and um I, that's never happened to me before and um so anyways just felt like this nice sense of peace and also as I, you know, did the yoga, I was seeing, you know, um, nice definition in my arms in particular, they were getting, um, you know, kind of like nice and, um, you know, muscular. And so I, um, you know, really um, enjoyed it that time. But anyways, so then in 2021, I embarked on a step challenge. It was my goal to walk 20,000 steps every single day that year. I didn't actually, you know, walk 20,000 steps every single day. I made it to almost 100 days. And so um, at the time I was 219 pounds. And so I was carrying this weight on my body, um, a 110 pound weight. I was 110 pounds overweight. And so kind of like what I noticed on that challenge with carrying all that weight on my body. So I um, when I, um, one day I looked at my legs in the mirror and I could not believe my eyes. I could not take my eyes off my legs. I had never seen them look that amazing before in my life. There was like so much definition in my legs. Like I, it, it was just like absolutely amazing to me. And so anyways, um, not only did I like have like this amazing definition in my legs, but like um, I was eating like this horrible diet. Um, it was like soda in the morning, a large Coke for breakfast, and then junk throughout the day. And as you can imagine, I just felt terrible, like physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually spiritually and I'm consuming like a lot of sugar and a lot of caffeine and when I consume sugar it makes me very emotional makes me not be able to control my emotions and when I consume caffeine um, that exacerbates my anxiety and so I was you know just an emotional mess and having you know regular panic attacks and during the um 2021 you know step challenge um when i'm walking with all that extra weight on my body not once did i have an emotional outburst and not once did i have like a panic attack and then after i kind of like quit the step challenge um all that stuff came back um you know i was emotional again and started having panic attacks again and um in addition so my diet was like so bad in 2021 that it's no wonder that I would be, you know, kind of like constipated and have difficulty going to the bathroom. So I um, was taking MAGO7 on a somewhat regular and consistent basis. So MAGO7 is an oxygen-based colon cleanser. It kind of like turns, um, you know, what's in your colon into kind of like liquid um, and um, it helps, you know, kind of like clean things out. And so um, when I was doing that step challenge back in 2021, I was able to go to the bathroom on my own and I didn't need MAGO7. And so um, that was, you know, a really, um, you know, good thing because I don't like taking MAGO7. The capsules are big and they just have like this horrible taste. And so um, anyways, so that's kind of like what I noticed from carrying around like that 110 pound weight on my body. So then that brings us to 2022. So in 2022, at the beginning of the year, I did a 40 day water fast and actually I documented my 40 day water fast, um, you know, in, in videos here and they're all in a like playlist um, called my 40 day water fast, I think it's called. But anyways, so 
when I first started off the fast, I was losing a little over a pound a day. And then um, kind of like what I noticed on that fast is at the time, my nephews, they were playing basketball and I would go see, you know, their games and there wasn't seating. So we had to bring our own seats. And I had like this like 35 pound chair that I would lug around with me. And what I noticed is on the days that I would see my nephews, um, you know, play basketball and I had to lug around that heavy chair that I would see like a, a huge, a, a bigger loss on the scale the, the next day. And um, that was kind of like the case for me over the years like I was 219 pounds um for like many many years and I um the only way I really have been able to lose weight is through fasting and not through diet and not through exercise and so I wasn't doing a lot of fasting in the time frame when I was 219 pounds and what I kind of like and I basically maintained around 219 pounds um you know all that time and what I noticed is on the days that I was like moving heavy things around moving like heavy furniture around or like um moving things to and from my storage unit or on the days that I um, was carrying, you know, like these five pound um, gallon um, water containers in it to the office because our water delivery people would leave them outside the office. What I would notice is on those days, the next day that I would get on the scale, I would see like losses, like big losses on the scale. And so this like says to me like a few things about, you know, incorporating weights and um, doing some kind of like strength training. Um, basically, it says um, that first of all, you know, you do not need to expend all that much time, you know, doing this. And so um, I read that really you need to, you know, spend maybe five to 20 minutes and you'll see some benefits. And like when I was, you know, carrying the lawn chair at my um, nephew's games, that probably was carrying that thing for maybe like five minutes, um, you know, total for the day. And the next day I'd see this like huge loss. Or, um, you know, on the days that our water delivery people would bring the, you know, water to our office and I'd have to bring it inside, that probably took maybe like five minutes as well to like transport those, um, you know, five um, gallon water containers into the office. And, um, you know, for the yoga that I was doing, that didn't take all that long either. That was maybe like a 45 minute workout and the entire program wasn't, you know, kind of like me, um, you know, I'm doing poses where I was using my, um, my, um, body weight as kind of like a weight that was only like a small like percentage of the yoga workout and so you really don't have to spend all that much time you know with these weights to like see like amazing results and something else that you will notice is that you will see like like really amazing like tone and definition when incorporating weights into your journey like when i was doing that yoga challenge my arms they looked absolutely amazing and then like i said that 2021 where i was walking um you know 20,000 steps with that 110 pound weight on my body my legs looked absolutely amazing i can't get over how amazing my legs looked and um, as a matter of fact, when I got to the 100 day mark this year um, of my step challenge, I um, went to the mirror to look at my legs, expecting to see like amazing definition in them. And I didn't see it. And the reason why is because I didn't have, um, you know, 110 pound weight on my body at the beginning of the year. I actually, um, you know, was 118 pounds, maybe 115 when I started the step challenge. And um, so I, you know, didn't have any, you know, excess weight um you know carrying on my body and um that's in contrast to the 110 pound weight that I was carrying um in 2021 and another thing is that when you incorporate weights and kind of like strength training into your regimen, you'll see, you know, nice losses on the scale. Um, and then, um, you know, the strength training will also provide you with like this nice sense of peace, this nice sense of calm, this nice kind of like sense of mental clarity. And um, as I mentioned before, like in 2021, my diet was absolutely atrocious and I felt terrible until I started, you know, walking around with that like 110 pound, you know, 
of weight on my body. And so you'll feel like amazing, like really amazing. Um, and also, um, you know, the weights will kind of like speed up your digestion um, and help make you regular if you have issues with that, because um, that was definitely a problem for me. And then in 2021, when I started my weight challenge, um, walking around with the 20,000, um, you know, walking around with doing the 20,000 steps with um, at 219 pounds, um, I was able to go to the bathroom on my own, which was something that I really wasn't able to do. And so um, incorporating weights, um, you'll see a lot of benefits from it. And, um, you know, right now I am doing a weight challenge and I am sorry that it took me so long to, you know, um, do this, but I um, am looking forward to, you know, seeing, you know, amazing results from, you know, being consistent with this. And one of the first results that I've noticed is that I need less sleep from this challenge is that I need less sleep. And so I am going to sleep a little bit later and getting um, up a little bit earlier and I feel absolutely amazing when I wake up. And so that's kind of like one of the um, benefits that I have been, you know, noticing from just a few days, um, you know, doing this challenge. I'm like 15 days in now. And so anyways, I wanted to, you know, share with you my experience with using weights and, um, you know, um, strength training because I'm hoping that maybe it will encourage, encourage you to kind of like look into this and incorporate it into your um, journey. I think you'll be, be very pleased with the results. And before I sign off from today's video, um, one thing I want to say is that, um, you know, right now, I am, you know, just using the weights for kind of like 10 minutes and um, that the one pound weights. And I find that after 10 minutes, I'm starting to get like a little bit tired hearing the weights and it feels so good, so good to kind of like just put those weights down. But in previous years, when I had like all that extra weight on my body, the like, you know, extra 110 pounds, I wasn't able to put that down. And it's no wonder that I just kind of like really struggled, um, you know, with life. I kind of like struggled with breathing. I struggled to move around. I, um, you know, would get tired easily. And so what I'm trying to say is that if you have some extra weight on your body, um, definitely, you know, um, work at, you know, removing that from your body because um, it just kind of like feels like good to, you know, um, not have to like struggle when I'm moving around. It feels good not to have like joint issues. It feels good not to like, you know, be so out of breath after going up a flight of stairs. And so definitely, you know, get serious about this, get that weight off your body and, um, you know, treat your body with the love and kindness that it deserves. And so anyways, that's today's video. I hope that you have have an absolutely amazing Sunday and a wonderful start to your week and I'll see you to um I will see you next week actually so take care bye